Welcome to a new Precious Plastic instruction video. Alright, so today we're going to build the compression machine. It's a bit like baking cookies, but now we're going to bake plastic. The plastic goes in the mold and the mold goes in the oven. This is slowly heated and pressed until the final shape comes out. It's a relatively slow but easy process and the machine is quite affordable and easy to build. All right, so before we get started, you can download all the instruction, information and the blueprints. And if you have any questions, feel free to post a topic in our forums. Let's get started. That's the machine we're going to build. And it consists out of four different parts. We have the oven, the framework, the press and the electronics. And we're going to start off making the oven. This is where the mold goes inside and gets heated. The first thing we're going to need for this is an oven. All right, so we're currently at the scrapyard, which is a great way to find an old oven. I mean, they're like everywhere you can find these old electronics, which is still pretty good to use. We found one. Alright, these things are a great starting point uh, to start off with because they already have all the isolation and the heating elements. We just need to modify and strip it down so we can use it. So every oven basically already has a temperature control installed. However, we cannot really use this because it's not accurate enough. So we're gonna strip it down and get our own one. So we stripped down the oven and we cleaned it up and now we're going to give it a nice jacket and use our blueprints as a reference but since every oven is different in size you might need to recalculate a few things. We're going to weld! So we finished the framework around the oven to make it nice and strong. Um, but before we're going to close it down with metal sheets, we like to add some isolation in there. It's optional to use this, you don't need to, but we like it because it's more energy efficient. So we're going to put it in here and then we're going to close it down. We finished the oven, isolated it, put some sheet metal on it, built a framework and it should look something like this. Alright, so we finished the oven and now we're going to build the framework. This is what holds the oven and the press together. So we finished the frame, it's made of some metal tubes, pretty straightforward. And now we're gonna add the little feet. So we have these things, which we have when we cut metal, these are the leftovers. And we're gonna weld them right here. We finished the frame for now. Uh, we're going to paint it later because first we're going to make the pressing system. Right, so we finished the oven, the framework, 
And now we're going to build the pressing system. And this will move a platform up and down in the oven that presses the mold together. So we finished up the pressing platform that goes inside the oven and this thing can go up and down and in order to do this we're going to use a car jack and this should be pretty easy to find and although they might look different they are pretty much the same but do make sure to double check your dimensions to make sure it all fits and we're going to connect the pressing platform on the car jack so we can slide it up and down and then we're going to connect all of this to the framework and it should be finished. So currently the platform can still move around and we don't want this. So when we install the car jack, we're also going to weld it on here um, so it doesn't spin around but we can also keep removing it by removing the bolt. Uh, we're going to install this metal plate on top of the oven. That's because some ovens are not as strong on the top and we want to make sure it can handle the pressure. So just to be sure we're going to add this plate. However, if your oven is strong enough, there's no need to make this. <laughs> We finished up the oven, the framework, installed the press and made a platform inside. Everything works, as you can see. And now we're going to make the electronics. Alright, so we finished the oven, the framework and the pressing system. And now we're going to finish up the electronics and wire it all up. First we're going to build this metal box and then we're going to connect everything together to make it work. Yep. Okay. We just finished the metal box, now we're going to install all the electronics. Um, we're going to install this switch to turn on the electricity, which make this light go on so we can see it's on. Then we're going to install this thermocouple in the oven. This will measure the temperature inside the oven, which will then be transferred into this controller, where we can measure the amount of temperature and set. And this one will go to the solid state relay, which will then again heat on the oven. And we're gonna wire it up with some cables if you're looking for a great way to find a cable. This one is from an old printer and we will use this to for the main power supply.
works. We're attaching the electronics to the oven and we're gonna connect the two heating elements, which are here, and then a little light, which is optionally, but we like to have a light inside. Alright, so here we have the compression molding machine and it's basically an oven that heats and melts the plastic and we can apply pressure and the first thing we need to create something is a mold. So here we have a mold and we're gonna fill it up with plastic. So now we're gonna put on the other part which presses everything together and then we're gonna put it in the oven. So the mold is in the oven and now we need to melt the plastic. So we're gonna turn it on and set the right temperature. Once the plastic melts we're gonna apply pressure so we squeeze everything together. This is a relatively slow process and it totally depends on the type of plastic you use and the size of your object, how much pressure you need and how long it takes. The oven is cooled down and now we're gonna take it out and see the result. So here we have the end result. It looks nice and smooth, no burnt edges. Now we made a solid block, but as you can imagine, if you make other molds, you can make more complex parts, or even press two sheets together to create sheet material. And we would love to see where you can come up with. All right. Thank you for watching the video. I hope everything was clear. If it wasn't, feel free to post the topic in our forums. And one thing to note is that the machines are built in a modular way, which means you can always upgrade or repair them, but also customize them to your needs. So if you happen to make a hack or customization, we would absolutely love to see it, because in this way we can all work together to create better machines. In the next video we're going to make molds and show you how to create things with these machines. And for now, thanks for watching, good luck with building, and hope to see you in the next Precious Plastic video. Mm -hmm.